Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to be reading Numbers 26, Psalms 115, and 2 Corinthians 2. Alright, let's pray before we get into the Word. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us this day that we might spend with you and get to know you just a little bit more. Thank you for all the blessings that you've poured out and then giving us your word that we might get to know you and be able to communicate with you every day. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your perfect purpose and continue to use us, Lord. Please forgive us of our sins and lead us away from temptation, that we might be more like you and glorify you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get started. Numbers 26 After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of the whole Israelite community by families, all those twenty years old or more who are able to serve in the army of Israel. So on the plains of Moab, by the Jordan across from Jericho, Moses and Eleazar, the priests, spoke with them and said, Take a census of the men twenty years old or more, as the Lord commanded Moses. These were the Israelites who came out of Egypt. The descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were through Hanak, the Hanakite clan, through Palu, the Paluite clan, through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, through Carmi, the Carmite clan. These were the clans of Reuben. Those numbered were 43,730. The son of Palu was Eliab, and the sons of Eliab were Nemuel, Dathan and Abiram. The same Dathan and Abiram were the community officials who rebelled against Moses and Aaron and were among Korah's followers when they rebelled against the Lord. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them along with Korah, whose followers died when the fire devoured the 250 men, and they served as a warning sign. The line of Korah, however, did not die out. The descendants of Simeon by their clans were through Nemuel, the Nemulite clan, through Jamin, the Jaminite clan, through Jakin, the Jakinite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan, through Shal, the Shalite clan. These were the clans of Simeon. Those numbered were 22,200. The descendants of Gad by their clans were through Zephon, the Zephonite clan, through Haggai, the Haggite clan, through Shuni, the Shunite clan, through Ozni, the Oznite clan, through Eri, the Erite clan, through Arodi, the Erodite clan, through Areli, the Aralite clan. These are the clans of Gad. Those numbered were 40,500. Er and Onan were sons of Judah, but they died in Canaan. The descendants of Judah by their clans were through Shelah, the Shelanite clan, through Perez, the Perizzite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan. The descendants of Perez were through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, through Hamul, the Hamulite clan. These were the clans of Judah. Those numbered were 76,500. The descendants of Issachar by their clans were through Tola, the Tolaite clan, through Pua, the Puaite clan, through Jashub, the Jashubite clan, through Shimron, the Shimronite clan. These were the clans of Issachar. Those numbered were 64,300. The descendants of Zebulun by their clans were through Sered, the Seredite clan, through Elon, the Elonite clan, through Jalil, the Jalilite clan. These were the clans of Zebulun. Those numbered were 60,500. The descendants of Joseph by their clans through Manasseh and Ephraim were the descendants of Manasseh through Machir, the Machirite clan. Machir was the father of Gilead. Through Gilead, the Gile Gileadite clan. These were the descendants of Gilead. Through Eazar, the Eazarite clan. Through Helek, the Helekite clan. Through Azrael, the Azraelite clan. Through Shechem, the Shechemite clan. Through Shemida, the Shemidaite clan. Through Hefer, the Heferite clan. Zelophehad, son of Hefer, had no sons. He had only daughters, whose names were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tirzah. These were the clans of Manasseh. 
Those numbered were 52,700. These were the descendants of Ephraim by their clans. Through Shuthela, the Shethulalite clan, through Becker, the Beckerite clan, through Tahan, the ha Tahanite clan, these were the descendants of Shuthela. Through Aaron, the Aaronite clan, these were the clans of Ephraim. Those numbered were 32,500. These were the descendants of Joseph by their clans. The descendants of Benjamin by their clans were through Bela, the Belaite clan, through Ashbel, the Ashbelite clan, through Ahiram, the Ahiramite clan, through Shufam, the Shufamite clan, through Hufam, the Hufamite clan. The descendants of Bela through Ard and Naaman were through Ard, the Ardite clan, through Naaman, the Naamite clan. These are the clans of Benjamin. Those numbered were 45,600. These were the descendants of Dan by their clans, through Shuham, the Shuhamite clan. These were the clans of Dan. All of them were Shuhamite clans, and those numbered were 64,400. The descendants of Asher by their clans were through Imna, the Imnite clan, through Ishvai, the Ishvite clan, through Beria, the Berite clan, and through the descendants of Beria, through Heber, the Heberite clan, through Malkiel, the Malkielite clan, Asher had a daughter named Sarah. These were the clans of Asher. Those numbered were 53,400. The descendants of Naphtali by their clans were through Jazil, the Jazilite clan, through Guni, the Gunite clan, through Jezer, the Jezerite clan, through Shilam, the Shilamite clan. These were the clans of Naphtali. Those numbered were 45,400. The total number of the men of Israel was 601,730. The Lord said to Moses, The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of names. To a larger group give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group a smaller one. Each is to receive an, its inheritance according to the number of those listed. Be sure that the land is distributed by lot. What each group inherits will be according to the names for its ancestral tribe. Each inheritance is to be distributed by lot among the larger and smaller groups. These were the Levites who were counted by their clans, through Gershon, the Gershonite clan, through Kohath, the Kohathite clan, through Merari, the Merarite clan. These also were Levite clans, the Libnite clan, the Hebronite clan, the Malite clan, the Mushite clan, the Korahite clan. Kohath was the forefather of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, a descendant of Levi, who was born to the Levites in Egypt. To Amram, she bore Aaron, Moses, and their sister, Miriam. Aaron was the father of Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar, but Nadab and Abihu died when they made an offering before the Lord with unauthorized fire. All the male Levites a month old or more numbered 23,000. They were not counted along with the other Israelites because they received no inheritance among them. These are the ones counted by Moses and Eleazar the priests when they counted the Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron, the priests, when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. For the Lord had told those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness, and not one of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun. Psalm 115 Not to us, Lord, not to us but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Why do the nations say, Where is their God? Our God is in heaven, he does whatever pleases him. But their idols are silver and gold, made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk, nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. 
He is their help and shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless his people, Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, those who go down to the place of silence. It is we who extol the Lord, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians 2 So I made up my mind that I would not make another painful visit to you. For if I grieve you, who is left to make me glad but you whom I have grieved? I wrote as I did, so that when I came, I would not be distressed by those who should have made me rejoice. I had confidence in all of you, that you would all share my joy. For I wrote you out of great distress and anguish of heart, and with many tears, not to grieve you, but to let you know the depth of my love for you. If anyone has caused grief, he has not so much grieved me as he has grieved all of you to some extent, not to put it too severely. The punishment inflicted on him by the majority is sufficient. Now instead, you ought to forgive and comfort him, so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. I urge you, therefore, to reaffirm your love for him. Another reason I wrote you was to see if you would stand the test and be obedient in everything. Anyone you forgive, I also forgive. And what I have forgiven, if there was anything to forgive, I have forgiven in the sight of Christ for your sake, in order that Satan might not outwit us. For we are not unaware of his schemes. Now when I went to Troas to preach the gospel of Christ and found that the Lord had opened the door for me, I still had no peace of mind because I did not find my brother Titus there. So I said goodbye to them and went on to Macedonia. But thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. For we are to God the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. To the one we are an aroma that brings death, to the other an aroma that brings life. And who is equal to such a task? Unlike so many, we do not peddle the word of God for profit, on the contrary, in Christ we speak before God with sincerity as those sent from God. Thanks for joining and listening today. If you have any questions, leave them down here in the comments section and I'll be making some videos where I go through some of those questions, show you some of the questions that I had, and maybe we can find some answers or even dive into it together. Thanks guys, hit the like and subscribe and come back for more. Alright guys, take it easy. Bye, God bless.